Here's a great song from Loudon Wainwright. Now, before we start, a quick confession. I hadn't heard this song until last night. I was on my way to work at City Lit and it came up on my headphones and I thought, oh, I could do this song in class tonight. So I got to class a bit early, I worked it out. And then by the time my students arrived, I was confidently saying, okay, let's play it. And it's in A and we can do this stuff and work out the chords like this. And we spent most of the session working this song out. We were supposed to be playing some Pink Floyd, but you know, end of term, who cares? Um, and then at the end, I said in a kind of clever teacher way, well, you know, if you had the capo on the second fret, you could play this in G, but you know, and I didn't really make anything of it. And of course this morning I've seen Loudon Wainwright playing this live uh, online and he does have a capo on the second fret. And uh, I should have thought of that beforehand. So to my students, as usual, I apologize. I'm a fool, I'm beholden to you, I salute you. And uh, I'm really sorry we didn't do this in G. Anyway, moving on. Capo on the second fret, we'll play this in G. And for the verse, there are just three chords. We'll have C for two, D for two, and then G for four. And he strums this with a fairly firm uh, backbeat on two and four. Now that two bar phrase forms the basis of the whole song really. And the intro has that twice. And then we get a slightly different two bar phrase and then it's back to this one. So we get this. That's two beats of C, two beats of G, and then two beats of D back to G and then back to our familiar. So the whole of the intro is this. And again. Then C to G, D to G, and back to That's the whole of the intro. The verses are exactly the same as that, except there's an extra C for two, D for two, G for four that gets tacked onto the end. And we'll see that as we look at the verse. So the verses I say exactly like the intro, it's like this. I'm back in the town. I'm walking. in the street I'm sure on my feet and I'm carefully looking around because I'm back in your town now the second verse is the same then we get a third verse and we're into the bridge or the chorus section now the chorus is a simple four bar section one chord per bar that repeats it's E minor, C, A minor, and G. And the second time, E minor, C, A minor, and a D to lead us into the next verse. So, you leave someone behind and you think you won't mind it. You go back and find you still care. Yeah, you're back where you started on a by a feeling you thought wasn't there. And into the next verse. Now the entire form of the song is intro and then verses one, two and three, then chorus. And then there's an instrumental which is just like the intro, which remember is just the verse with two bars missing, where there's a string bass solo. And then we have verses four and five. Then we go to another chorus. And then we have verse six, which is essentially just the same lyrics as verse one, but with a different ending. So what happens is at the end, carefully looking, instead of going to G, I go to E minor for two bars. Then I'm back in your town. So what I'll do is I'll play the chorus, then I'll go into that last verse straight away and into the final ending with the two bars of E minor and then the final two bars to close out the song. You leave someone behind and you think you won't mind it till you go back and find you still care. Yeah, you're back where you started and I might not smart it by a 
That's it.